Officials in Ireland are pleading for the return of a human head. It was stolen from a crypt in a church in Dublin. The bodily remains, known as the Crusader, had lain there for eight centuries. The local archdeacon has urged anyone with any information to come forward. The BBC's Tim Orman has the story. St. Michael's Church has stood in this spot for more than 900 years. A place of quiet devotion and peaceful contemplation. So you can imagine the shock when a tour guide came to open up and discovered this. The heavy steel door to one of the vaults ripped off, the bodies inside desecrated. I can understand people who break into a church and steal silver, um, that's commonplace, but to break into a, a sacred area, a crypt where people have been dead for many years and bodies are there, um, just beggars belief, I mean, I, I just can't get my head around the minds of somebody who would do that. These, some of the mummified remains pictured before the break-in. One of them, a nun, who had been here for 400 years, her coffin ransacked. And the head of this man was severed and taken away. He's known only as the Crusader, and he has lain here for 800 years. If they have any conscience whatsoever, they would make contact with me or the church authorities or even the guards to say where the head of the crusader is because we'd like that fact just simply to um, put his head back with his body and let him rest in peace. Time may not be on their side as it's feared the human remains will quickly decompose. This has been described as a great loss to the parish, the city and the country. Tim Ullman, BBC News.